Hey guys, my name is Fabiola and today I'll be filming my first YouTube video. The reason why I chose to do it today specifically is because it is August 23rd. It is my birthday and also my brother's. Yes, I do have a twin and we both turned 20 today. So today I just filmed a birthday look, birthday glam. And yeah, so if you're interested in how I got this look, then please keep on watching. All right guys, so I'm gonna start with the Urban Decay Quick Fix. Um, it's just like something to hydrate my face. I am really, I like to drench my face in this, especially because it smells so good. Um, I am oily, like, but I do have dry parts of my face, like around my mouth and my nostrils. But I mean, towards the end of the day, I do end up getting oily there. So I don't know. I don't understand my skin, especially lately, just because I've been having like random dry patches and I've never had that before, like weird problems with my skin. So, I mean, I'm just starting to get it back to normal. Um, I'm happy that it got back to normal because I wanted to do this video on this day on my birthday. And I was hoping, you know, like my skin will look at least decent. Um, so, yeah. And I'm sorry if I keep looking like straight ahead, like not at the like lens. I mean, I'm not really used to it, so I will take some time to get used to. I'll be using the um, Tatcha the Soap Canvas Primer. I just got like a little sample of it just because it is pretty expensive and I don't want to... I don't want to buy it and end up not liking it. And this is like my third time using it and it actually feels really good and I really do like the consistent consistency sorry y'all and it is really pore filling I really do feel like it does make my makeup look a lot smoother Today I'll be using the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation Yes, I am oily, but yes, I do like hydrating foundation. I feel like mattifying foundations, I just don't like them. Like, I just set my face and that's how, you know, you gotta use the right primers and you have to set your face right in order to, like, kind of stay matte. I always end up getting oily towards the end of the day anyways. And I just don't like mattifying primers just because I feel like to accentuate my pores, my like if I have acne and bumps and stuff like that, I just don't like the way it looks. My face looks super dry. So I'm gonna just apply it directly on my beauty blender. And just dot it on my face. And I just used the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray just because I love like putting this on I'm gonna have my foundation and putting my concealer on. I just feel like it's gonna really blend out so seamlessly. And for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. And I'm in the shade Golden Beige. But I think I like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer better. And so I'm going to be using some Radiant Creamy Concealer on top of that just because it is a little lighter and it's in custard. Just like more in the inner corner. So I applied that on my chin, my cupid's bow, under eyes, just in the middle of my forehead between my brows and just a line down my nose. So what I'm using right now, I keep forgetting to tell y'all what I'm using. Sorry about that. I'm using the Soleil Tan de Chanel. And I just literally just like digging it. Uh, look at my shirt 
That's the only thing I like about these shirts. They're cute, but it's like, I can't do anything in them. Oh. And I just like to just apply like the excess on the sides of my nose. Just to bronze it up and make sure everything's kind of even. I'm going to be using my Holy Grail favorite Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm just going to use the same sponge. And just going to press it in. I personally don't like baking at all. I just feel like it looks super cakey. So I'm just, this is how I try to get my nose to stay matte because it is oily as nose. In my T zone, like I literally just pack on the powder. I don't necessarily bake, I just pack it on and I like literally like just pounce that shit in. Okay, I'm going to be using the M530 from Morphe. Don't have a discount code. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm not famous like that. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and just bronze my face up. Just go in circular motions, starting from the back and forward. I already put the Chanel one, so I don't need to go too ham. So I'm just going to be placing the powder, basically setting everywhere where I put the cream bronzer. And for contour, I'm going to be using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Look how beat up this is, y'all. Like, wow. My lips are getting lost in the sauce again. Um, the brush that I'm using is R10. So I literally just focused it right here and then I brought it up. It's looking kind of harsh on the camera. In my mirror, it doesn't look harsh like that. Sorry, my hair is looking all kinds of crazy. The same thing for the other side. And then same thing on the sides of the nose. I just like to make everything look really even. Okay, so I'm going to be using the NYX Professional Makeup Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. It looks like this. And I think I'm going to dip into this like corally shade and this like more orange shade. I really like shades like this. I like like more corally orange blushes. Especially with the um eyeshadow work oh whoa 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 too pigmented too 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 pigmented get on my beauty blender and patting this shit away whoa 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 and i'm gonna put it like kind of where i bronze and everything around my nose jawline everything forehead I just love blush and I feel like it really just ties everything in together, makes everything look like one. And I think I do want to bake for like two seconds under my, my contour. Okay. Just gonna cut the cheek. I'm just gonna use the contour brush that I used to wipe it all off. See, I already left it like super clean. I don't need to leave it there long at all. Alright, and I'm going to spritz my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. It's my favorite. I love the way it smells and sprays. And I like just to put a little bit. Just a little. Right now what I'm doing is just making sure I don't have any like spots or blotches on my face. Now I'm going to be putting the Amorese Beverly Hills um, Anastasia highlighter. Like so, and I'm using the brush M510. Just 
just kind of like patting and like kind of sweeping down almost. Sweeping like down in a way. I like to put it just like on the top of the bridge of my nose. Same motions, kind of just like patting and sweeping away. I don't like bringing it down here because I have, like I said, I have a pretty big nose. And I just don't want it to be like, boom, it's big, you see it, you know? So what I like to do with my brows is use the um, Anastasia help. What? Anastasia um, Beverly Hills. Who says that? What am I saying? Anyway, so I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and Chocolates. And I like to use just like around the whole brow, really like draw hair like strokes and just, you know, make sure that everything is nice shaped. And I'll be using the Anastasia um, Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown on the ends of my so I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and I'll be right back right, so I'm gonna be using the I Love Sarayitos of Colors eyeshadow palette so I'm gonna be using the color as my transition shade Finders Keepers and I'm gonna be using the brush R37 and I'm gonna be putting that in my crease and kind of flicking out not too much more mostly focusing the color like right in the center and then flicking out do that to the other eye focus it right in the center blend and flick out so i'm not really putting like any extra color at the end and I'm, just, I'm just literally just flicking out with the excess. I think I'm going to get a clean brush just to further blend. And I'm going to be using the M41. With no product. I'll be dipping into the shade Poquito Mas right here. I really hope this is the right shade. Because I'm low-key feel like, what if it's not? Because what if this is... This sounds like it's Wonderlust. I don't know. But at the same time... It sounds like that's Poquito Mas. Because I think on her video when she was talking about she's like she I think she called this Poquito Mas because she was like... I just want it to be like an extra pop. Oh my gosh, guys. What if I'm getting it wrong? It's kind of confusing because when you flip it, like this, like Poquito Mas is right here. And then Wanderlust is right here, but I don't know if I should be looking at it like this. Then flipping it over. Y'all, I'm sorry if I've been getting the shade names wrong. Oh, I just stabbed my shadow right here. Wow. I'm just ruining this palette. Um, But yeah, I'm just going to be dipping into the shade right here. And I'll be using the brush M433 and focusing it more in the crease, not as high up, keeping it kind of low. Focusing it in the center of the crease, not too high up, just kind of keep it low, below the uh, peachy shade and kind of just feathering it out now I'm gonna go back with the M441 which was the blending brush we used with no extra product just to make sure everything's blended seamlessly on the top all right and now I'm gonna be going in with the shade Palma I think I want to put some eyeshadow primer I'm gonna use the um, MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. Looks like this. So I'm gonna just put some um, of this eyeshadow base like on the lid just so it can be, so it can have something to stick to and it won't, I won't have a lot of fallout. And I'm gonna drag that out the end. So now I'm gonna be dipping in to this blue shade that is crushed. Ugh. 
so beautiful. And she didn't break. And I don't want to get fallout, so I'm just going to put a little powder just so I can dust it off. Wow, this shade is so beautiful. I'm literally so sad that the most beautiful shade broke. Like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I'm just going to pat that on the eyelid. Until I get the intensity that I love. And I'm just going to apply this on the outer corner. I'm just going to pack it on and kind of flick it out. Same thing for the other eye. So I'm going to go back with this light peach shade and I'm going to focus this on the, I'm just going to pinch it and I'm going to focus it on the lower lash line. Probably should be using a different brush. I'm going to just use a different brush because why not? I'm going to be using the M506. Kind of flicking it in. up. To connect now I'm gonna go in with the darker shade up here focus it more towards the outer corner of the eye and connect upwards So I'm just going to put um, the eyeshadow base right by the lash line just so the shadow can have something to stick to. I'm going to go back with Palma and just press that right beneath the lash line. So I'm kind of basically mimicking what I did on the top to the bottom. Probably poquito más. So I'm going to apply that right below the brow. I'm going to apply that to the inner corner just to brighten things up. Kind of spreading it out, finger. Inner corner. So I'm just gonna brush this away. I'm going to be using the uh, Monsieur Big Lanka Mascara on the bottom lashes and top. Then I'll put a little black liner on the top of my um, lash line. I don't think I'm going to wing it out and just come back with my lashes done and everything. And then we'll do the lip together. 
All right, guys, so I'm back. I put my mascara on, my lashes on. Um, I literally just put the simplest lashes on. I put some Ardell um, Studio Fix Pro Design Layer Lashes and the Style Demi Wispies. Demi, Demi, Demi Wispies? I don't know, however you want to say it. Now for the lips. Finally, almost done. I'm going to be using, to line my lips, the NYX. Retractable lip liner in sand beige, and I don't really overdraw. I just basically go with the basically the shape of my lips. I like kind of to fill in just a little bit on the edges. And I'm going to be going in with this lip shade and called Barely There. And it is from the Isla Sarai collection with those of colors. So I just like to put a little bit. Kind of just dabbing it on there, not putting too much on. be putting on this NYX butter gloss and tiramisu make it a little more pink and I think we're done you guys I'm just gonna set my face with for now the on nighter makeup setting spray long lasting I know they have like a oil like one for like oily girls But I feel like I like this one better. I think I want to put some highlight on my collarbone. Yeah. Using the brush M510. Just gonna get my collarbones a little bit. I'm not dipping in too much. A little on the shoulder. Tell me what you guys think comment please like and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos let me know what you want to see from me and yeah so i'll see you later in my next video bye guys